Hi everyone, welcome to my yoga class. My name is Sarah Highfield. Um, I operate under Yoga Jazz Yoga and this morning or maybe afternoon wherever you are, I will be teaching a relaxing but refreshing and revitalizing class. So I hope you're all ready. Um, before we start, you may want to grab some props. So I have a block. If you don't have a block, a large book will do. I also have a strap. If you don't have a strap there, a belt will also substitute. And my favorite prop is this little pad, which you can get in Decathlon. These go under your knees, so when you do kneeling poses, and they are so soft and comfortable, and they also provide a lot of support. But if you don't have one of these, you can use a folded up blanket or even a cushion. So I'll give you just a moment to grab anything that you might need to get now before we start. Sink the hips forward and down. Your hands are on the knee or at your heart center or arms up. Again, pick whichever variation works best for you today. One more thing I should say is in yoga, don't, don't be too focused on what you think you should be able to do in terms of flexibility and strength. Every day is different. So even for myself, some days I feel so flexible and other days I feel so tight. It's so important to listen to your body and really respect how it's feeling on a certain day, um, especially if you don't want to injure yourself. So take one leg, don't worry which leg, bring it out to the side like this. Looking at your leg, check that the knee is in line with the hip and the foot is in line with the knee. So you've got a nice right angle. And then prop yourself up on your forearms. So you're here. When you look down at your forearms, they should be shoulder width distance and parallel. This is the pose. This is a sphinx pose uh, meshed with frog pose. So you get the hip opener and a nice stretch through the front of the body. 